Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I have a recipe that will knock your socks off. Today, we're making this buttermilk fried chicken with bacon, egg, and cheese waffles. Hopefully you enjoy it, but before I begin, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new here, and let's get started. Here's what you need to make this recipe. I'm using vanilla extract, sugar, baking powder, salt, milk, vegetable oil, unsalted butter, two eggs, with the flour, I'm using all-purpose flour. Here you have the bacon, two eggs, cheddar cheese with the buttermilk, now for the seasoning, I am using seasoned salt, cayenne pepper, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, white pepper, and as well as some chili powder with the flour. We're using all purpose flour again. Now we have the chicken. I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thigh with some hot sauce. First thing I am going to be doing is remove the fat from the chicken thighs. Now I try my best to remove as much fat as I can. I am using a kitchen shears to remove the fat as you guys or to cut the fat as you guys can see. Once I am done, I am going to start by seasoning my chicken. By the way, I went ahead and give the chicken a nice wash with lime, but you don't really have to. Now here I am going to combine all of the dry seasonings together. Now I'm going to take about half tablespoon of the seasoning mix and save the remaining for later. Now, the half tablespoon of the seasoning, I am going to sprinkle it to my chicken. Then I am using my hand to make sure it's well combined with the chicken. Now we're going to add in our hot sauce to make it nice and spicy, yet a little sour at the same time. Not really, like it's going to taste a little bit of vinegary, but not, not really. Now I'm going to be adding in my buttermilk. We're going to cover that, let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour because we're running out of time. Now I am going to start by cooking the egg and the bacon. So I am cracking two eggs in this bowl here. I am going to season that with salt and pepper. It's very optional. You don't really have to season it, honestly. Now we're going to give it a nice whisk. Once you are done, you're going to add about half a tablespoon of oil to a hot skillet. You are going to scramble your egg. Once you're done, you're going to set that aside, moving on to the bacon. Now the bacon, you can also cook the bacon in the oven or even an air fryer if you want, but I decided to cook it on the stove top.
Now once your bacon is nice and crispy and cooked, you are going to basically chop them into small pieces. That way you can just add them on top of your waffles. You'll see how I incorporated the bacon in this dish. So keep on watching. Now we're getting ready to make our homemade waffles. Of course you can use frozen waffles if you want but I am going to pour in the flour. Next, I am going to be adding in the sugar. Well, that might be the baking powder. The baking powder, next I am adding the sugar, and of course, we are going to be adding salt just to balance the sugar. And I am also going to be adding in the what are we adding in? The egg, I am going to crack that in. Next, I'm adding the vegetable oil as well as the vanilla extract. Last but not least, we're going to be adding in the milk. Stir as you go. So this is what your batter should look like once you are done. So here I am getting ready to make my seasoned flour for the chicken. So I am going to be adding the flour in a separate bowl. Then I am going to add the remaining of my seasoning. You are going to stir that together and don't forget to give it a taste, okay? Always give your flour a taste to see if you need any more seasoning or salt or pepper. And now I am going to be cracking two more eggs in a separate bowl and we're going to whisk that together. Now if you want, you can also add this egg to your buttermilk with the chicken. Me personally, I like to add the egg in a separate bowl because it, the outcome always come out beautifully once I'm done. So. That's why I don't like adding the egg to the same bowl as the buttermilk and the chicken. I'm going to set that aside. It's time for me to fry the chicken. So what I'm going to do is take the chicken from the buttermilk, just add it to the egg mixture. Make sure it's well coated with the egg egg mixture, then you are going to let any excess egg wash drain. Then you are going to place this into your flour. Dredge the chicken with the flour really good on both sides. Of course, if you want, you can go back, put it in the egg wash and place it in the flour once again, just so you can have a thick, crunchy breading but i didn't have to do that so i did it one time one time only then we are going to place them to a cutting board this is what i have once i was done with all of my chicken it's time to fry them so now i am going to add my oil to a you know a saucepan just like this or you can just use a fryer if you have one once my oil reach a temperature of 300 to 325 i am going to place the chicken right in there now i went ahead and sliced my chicken in the middle because they were a little too big but afterwards i wished i didn't do it because it was they, they came out so small i thought they you know <laughs> but it's still good regardless so we're going to remove them from the oil about 10 to 12 minutes after or until the internal temperature is above 160 you know degrees so we're just going to remove them set them on a cooling rack
Now I'm going to be making my waffles. I made the first one already. I am going to show you guys how to make the second batch. So I'm going to be adding a little bit of butter to my waffle maker. Then we are going to pour in our homemade waffle batter just pour that in just like that and this is where it gets really 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 good we're going to use the egg the bacon as well as some cheddar cheese on top of this waffle like you have to try this out you can eat this by itself y'all it's so delicious so i'm going to sprinkle the bacon right on top of the waffles mm -mm -mm. and then we're going to add in our scrambled egg just pour that all over just like so oh my gosh this is going to be so good now you are going to be adding in the cheese the cheddar cheese of course you can use any choice of cheese that you want but cheddar cheese goes great with bacon egg oh come on now <laughs> now once you are done you're going to cover it and let it cook once it is done you shall have the most beautiful thing ever oh my goodness look at that when i tell you this is heaven on earth you have to try this out so now i am going to remove these from the waffle maker and make another batch oh my god i want to eat it right now and you guys probably like what eggs bacon cheese on a waffle yes you have to try it don't knock it till you try it come on now once you're done you're going to plate it with the fried chicken in the middle of course and you are going to just drizzle some authentic come on maple syrup on there and let's just add some green onion to garnish and there you have it I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Now, if you have tried these type of waffles before, let me know. I don't have any waffle house nearby, but I, I, I ate it once and it was delicious. But this right here, waffle house has nothing on them. You have to try them for yourself to see what I'm talking about. But anyways, thank you for watching today's recipe. Be sure to thumbs it up because this recipe definitely deserve a thumbs up. And I will see you guys on the next delicious recipe. Bye.